Now, what we're going to be starting with here is some footage that I shot a couple of months ago in the summertime of a hummingbird sitting on a fence here uh, in front of my deck. And as I drag through this, as you see, this was shot with a handheld camera and the camera is kind of jerking around fairly good here. And because one reason being that I was kind of zoomed in on the hummingbird, which tends to exaggerate any such camera motion. And the other one, of course, is that it's just handheld footage and that's really hard to stabilize manually anyway. So as I'm dragging through here, you see the camera's kind of jumping around all over the place, but the hummingbird itself is kind of staying in place. And it's sitting on a fence here, which is good because we can use that as an element for our motion stabilization. So let's talk a little bit about how this works here. Motion stabilizing or motion stabilization and motion tracking for that matter really work the same way. They work by tracking elements in a frame that in themselves in the frame don't move. So for example, if we are looking again at this footage here, you see the hummingbird is kind of moving around a little bit. He's looking around and checking out for rivals and so forth. And you see stuff in the background, the leaves and so forth are moving in the breeze. But the fence itself, because the fence is fixed, doesn't move relative to the rest of the frame. It's moving in the frame in the sense that the camera is moving, but the object, the fence itself, is stable. And that is essential for motion tracking because motion tracking and motion stabilization depend on having an object in the frame that in itself doesn't move. So you can't really expect to do motion tracking and stabilization on something that in itself is moving in the frame. So you need to have, first of all, for successful motion stabilization or motion tracking, an object in the frame that stays in the frame and doesn't move relative to the other objects in the frame. And in this case, our fence here is a really good candidate for that. So motion tracking, motion stabilization works by tracking in terms of XY pixel data, the position of an object in the frame that does not move itself relative to the rest of the objects in the frame. So what we're going to be doing here is tracking this fence. And in fact, we're going to use this little element right here as our tracking point. And we are then going to derive from that data that we can apply to the anchor point of the frame of that video frame in order to adjust the position of that layer. So what's going to happen is, in fact, we're going to derive some data from the motion of this, which is going to be XY pixel data, and we're going to apply that to the anchor point of the layer. And so what's going to happen essentially is that for every pixel, for example, that this element moves relative to the center of the frame to the left, when we apply that to the anchor point, it's going to move the anchor point, the center of the layer, or the relative center of the layer, one pixel to the right. And essentially what that's going to mean is that that point right there is then going to stay in place within relative to the edges of the frame itself, the edges of the frame that we're looking at here. So we're going to be tracking the XY position of that object in the frame and then applying a kind of negative version of that to the anchor point in the layer, the video layer that we're working with, so that this object then does not move relative to the edges of the frame. And what that's going to give us then is the effect as if the camera itself was not moving. So when we actually do this, you'll see the layer itself shifting all around, and there are some things we can do to compensate for that. But essentially, what we're going to be doing here is tracking this position here and then applying a negative offset to the anchor point so that that ultimately stays in exactly the same position relative to the edges of the frame. And that's essentially what stabilization does, is that we are tracking an element and then applying negative offsets to maintain the position of that element. So let's do that in our next video.